Now, go enjoy the buffet, and don't forget to check out our awesome drawing and silent auction items. You were supposed to clap. <laughs> Before I dive fully into my speech today, I want to play a little imagination game. Picture with me that you're an attendee at my event, Swing for Independence, on April 18th. It's a Thursday night, around 6 p.m. You've been there maybe 20 minutes. You've gotten a cold, refreshing, free beer. You've perused the incredible spread of silent auction items, bought a few drawing tickets, and now you're asked to listen for just a few minutes before you get your food and find your bay to start golfing. <clears throat> Nearly 150 people gather around you as well. First, our board chair introduces our presenting sponsors. They share some of the amazing work their companies do in the community. Next, you hear from an individual who shares their powerful, personal story of how the Center for Independent Living has impacted their lives and improved access and advocacy skills for them. You're touched. You might even try to camouflage some emotions. And then you hear from me. Sorry. Good evening, friends. Thank you all for listening and coming out tonight to party with a purpose. That purpose being the Center for Independent Living in Central Florida. There really are so many places you could be right now, in bed maybe, <laughs> and so many organizations you could be supporting. Heck, there's one having an event upstairs right now. But you're here, and the impact is felt, so thank you. Many of you are at least a little bit familiar with the work that CIL does, but I wanted to share just a little bit more tonight. I hope this evening leaves you wanting to stay engaged, knowing that your support directly impacts the increased inclusion and accessibility for people with disabilities in Central Florida. At the heart of our mission, we believe that every person, regardless of ability, deserves the opportunity to live life on your own terms with dignity and respect. And it's through the generosity and support of all of you that we're able to make this happen for over a thousand people in Central Florida every year. The work we do touches every aspect of people's lives, their families' lives, and even the Central Florida community. So allow me to share just a few stories that exemplify what CIL's success looks like. Recently, an individual we work with who is deaf celebrated a major milestone. This person studied hard and worked with us for three years to pass the US citizenship test. They can now proudly say they are an American citizen. Last year, a single mother came to us on the verge of homelessness. Through our newest program, the Family Disability Navigator program, we helped her find afford affordable childcare, it's a very difficult task, housing, a new job, and she now has the confidence to be able to find the right resources and advocate for her son in schools and otherwise as he has ADHD and other learning disabilities. <clears throat> in December, we built a ramp with the women of the Greater Orlando Builders Association for a woman who just couldn't catch a break. Cancer had required her to have surgery after surgery, resulting in the loss of a limb. Both her mom and her sister stood there crying and saying thank you as we finished building a ramp for their family. They were now able to get their daughter and their sister to the hospital, to the doctor, and even to visit family and go outside. This summer, we will provide career camps in both Winter Park and Lakeland 
to youth with disabilities, teaching them self-advocacy, career skills, and exploring different fields of work with our community partners. These fields include healthcare with Orlando Health and Advent, construction with Turner Construction, and personal finance with Fairwinds Credit Union and Wachula State Bank. And tonight, I hope you enjoy golfing, making new friends, maybe dancing a little bit, and eating right after I finally finish my speech. But I also hope you leave with a desire to stay engaged with CIL, with our mission. Finally, I am beyond excited to announce that we are kickstarting our Foundations to Freedom campaign for the first time ever to raise $150,000 by the end of September. And the best part is we are well on our way to that goal with support from two of tonight's sponsors, Orlando Health and Turner Construction. So be on the lookout in your emails and on social media, and please share this mission. Please share our desire to be able to continue to fund accessible home modifications and equipment for people living with disabilities in Central Florida. Thank you.